Race fans, it's 50 laps in distance. Here we go. It's the Huncheski Classic. On top of the high banks, we're green. Field going to dash off into turns one and two. Look to the inside with the run. Bacon going to try to jump up to the top spot and lead here in lap number one. Denied the advance of the 26 of Bryson. Going to have the advantage. They work it to turn three. Now Bacon charge it back to the inside. Midway turns three and four. You'll have Brady Bacon, last year's event winner, going up to the top of the field. Bacon from fourth to first. Lap number one, Bryson running in the second spot. Westfall right now. Challenge on the inside. He's going after Klauser in the 92. He got Swanson right there in the mix as well. That's going to be the battle for third, fourth, and fifth right now as they work through turns three and four. Westfall on the inside. Klauser, Swanson on the outside. The 119 currently scored 16th on the field. Able to keep momentum to the outside of the AME Electrical 119, but not for long. Bacon. Whether it's high or low, he's able to get that car up and running. Brings it back up to the cushion with the right rear wound up. Bryson still trailing by about five seconds. Oh, looks like problems for the 77. Swanson slow on the bottom side of the speedway, and there is a violent shake on the rear end of that machine. So a change up in the top five here. You got Thomas up into fourth. Grant up into fifth, Stockin into sixth. They're going to shuffle Westfall back to seventh. He might fall back to eighth here. Nope, that's Brady Bacon. Brady Bacon has just run down the top five. Thought for a second that was Leary, but no. It is the number nine. But what a run for C.J. Leary. He started 24th. A lot of spark. Oh, no, Brady Bacon, the engine just expired. The engine has expired on Brady Bacon's number nine. A shower of sparks and smokes off of turn number four and the utterly dominant run of the Macho Man gonna come to a tragic end. And Kaylee Bryson was trailing by 15.8 seconds. Will come around this time to assume the race lead. Bryson. Leads at Belleville. Bryson up to the cushion. Klauser down to the bottom. Looking for the race lead as they hit the back straightway. Bryson down the embankment with momentum. Able to keep him at bay for the time being. Now Klauser's about to have company. Here comes Justin Grant. But keep an eye to the outside. Here comes C.J. Leary. He's got third. He's looking for second. He started 24th, and he is driving the wheels off of this thing right now. Up into second. Does he have it? Yes, C.J. Leary takes over the runner-up spot. Ten laps remain. Does he have enough to reel in the 26? And you can cue the Jaws theme because he's a coming. Kaylee Bryson better look out because she's about to have company. A half a second difference with six laps remaining. A fistful going to be shown this time. Can C.J. Leary steal the win away from Kaylee Bryson? She has got her up on the cushion, and Hummin now brings it down to the middle on the exit of four. Leary brings it all the way off of the cushion. Five to go, and three-tenths of a second separate your top two. Bryson bounces her off of the cushion and turns one and two. Leary within a couple of car lengths onto the back straightway. Slower car to the inside, protects the bottom. They work it at turns three and four. It'll be four laps remaining. Kaylee Bryson, C.J. Leary, both of them off of the cushion, off of turn number four. Spotters talking to the drivers, letting them know what's coming. Bryson adjusting her line accordingly. She is all the way to the cushion at both ends now. Before, she was kind of peeling off, going to the middle, kind of moving around a little bit. Now, she has got that right rear humming on the outside. Three laps remain. Can she pick up her first career silver crown win? Leary trying to steal the way in six. They have gapped themselves from the rest of the running order. Klauser still running in third. He's got Justin Grant looking to the inside. The Hemelgar, number 91, NOS Energy sponsored entry. Not able to get the run to the inside. Klauser holds on to third. Grant in fourth. Jerry Coons Jr., your top five. Two laps to go. White flag coming. This time, if Larry wants it, he's going to have to come and get it. Bryson. A lap away from history. Backs her to the cushion. Scrubs off some speed. Leary closing in. 0 0.370. She banks her off the high side. Works it onto the back straightaway. Leary going to set up to the inside. Willie trying to pull the slide into three and four. Here he comes to the inside. Bryson on the outside. Here they come for all the marbles. Does she have it? She does. Kaylee Bryson wins at Belleville. 
ladies and gentlemen, she is the first woman to win in Silver Crown. She is the first woman to win a USAC national event. Get her here in Kaylee Bryson! If you're gonna make history, make it big. The first woman across all three national USAC divisions to go to victory lane. She will work on getting the helmet off. Okay, first off, Kaylee, put your arm out. Put your arm out. This is real. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks to all the fans that came out here. Oh man, this is a long time coming and my team has worked so hard. They've believed in me for so long and I'm so happy to pull off a win for them. This car was on rails tonight and this crew, you know, AP Driver Development, Sam Pierce Chevrolet, LSI, RE Enterprises, there's so many people that go into this and I'm so thankful for them because without this, them, this wouldn't be possible. You got CJ Leary stalking you there on the last couple laps. Your spotter's talking to you. What was the conference, what was going through on the spotter? Just drive the track. Don't worry about anybody else. Just go out there and make fast laps, and that's what we did, and we won. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, she has made history here tonight. It's the young lady out of Muskogee, Kaylee Bryson.